pack all this up. You win and if you think we're gonna die in this house? No, I don't know if we're gonna be able to move. Find a way. We'll find a way. We'll find a way. If you open up your eyes, no. see that you're fine. It's gonna take some time to realize. Do, do, do. Over your shoulder, you know. I'll pick you up when you're down. Shoot, compressed HDMI. I'm still trying to wrap my hand around it, or my head around it. Like, how does a wireless HDMI thing work? How? I assume it just broadcasts it, then converts it back to the signal. How does that thing go some Snake Eater? It's got Snake Eater singing has to happen naturally. You can't, yeah. you can't force it. Oh shit! Come back here, dudes. Oh my god, Metal Gear! I gotta sit here and like and like micro my dudes. Wait, are those are those like the actual like new units? Those are yeah, they're cat hats. No, they're archers with cat, cat hats. hats. Of animal bodies. On fire hazard, I once saw someone read the electrical box for their house hanging by. Oh my god. That's dangerous. That's real dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too up on wireless things either. Like, someone's like, "Oh, cool, I got a fight stick that's wireless." I'm like, "No, nah, man, that ain't me." Like, also, batteries are super expensive. I don't even like wireless mouse or wireless headset. No, like. Gotta, I gotta have my wires, like, where I am. So does the Metal Gear Legacy have all the MGS games? It has Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2... Uh, the only one it's missing is, this canon is Portable Ops. Yeah. And that's negligible, like, you can actually read up on that if you really wanted to, but it has pretty much everything. It even has VR missions, which is great. Well, and Ground Zeroes, because Ground Zeroes just came out. That's true. Wait, hold on. Huh. It's 160 feet of clear sight, but it doesn't go through 30 feet of wood? 160 feet to transmit an HDMI signal? Uh, maybe for, like, like bars and stuff. That's kind of crazy. Yes, Buy the Legacy Collection very soon? Do it. Yeah, yeah. If you want to Metal Gear, that's probably your best bet. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's like all the Metal Gears. But... Yeah. The rooftop to rooftop HDMI needs. There you <laughs> go. I want to share my movie watching with someone across the street. Hey guys. This is the boobies I'm looking at right now. I'm not gonna play acid. I would rather cry. I'd, I'd rather gouge my eyes out with a dull, rusty spoon than play acid. Jeez, both dull and rusty. Dull and rusty. Yeah, no, nobody likes that one. <laughs> HDMI cable has transferred so many boobies. <laughs> so many oh, boobies that my HDMI cord has seen. Someone who hasn't ever played Metal Gear, which where should you start? Oh, um, one. I'd say play Metal Gear Solid One, Metal Gear Solid Two, Three, and then Four. Like, if you want to do the extra stuff around it, you can. But if you want to play it chronological, that's cool. Whatever. So like Kojima said but, that you should play it uh, starting with Three. Because he thinks that Three is the best show of all the mechanics, and it's not going to frustrate people. Which is just true. Yeah, but I think that playing it in release order is the best way because you're gonna get to see things and understand things that are like subtle references to the old games, and it's gonna be more impactful for you. 
But then again, that's probably just me sitting there saying it because that's how I grew up playing it, and that's how it got released. I played through it in a weird order. So yeah. So I probably shouldn't talk too much. Well, I'm trying to think of, like, what... If you... Because now, I'm big up on, like, Star Wars watch orders, right? Yeah. Uh, and, like, the hatchet order is my, my preferred one. Um, which is where you just cut out one entirely. Yeah. And I'm wondering if there's, like, some kind of way where you can, like, have a better order for Metal Gear than chronological, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm still a really, really big fan of playing in release order. Yeah. I really hope Deadly Permission comes back on good old games for that much, too, because that's fantastic. Yeah, that was like a, like a lightning sail or something. So really... Yeah. Got words today that you won an art contest for 50 bucks. Nice! For free. Nice! That's a 50, 50 buck gain. You are on top of that. Also, it was for doing an art, so... That's fantastic, too. Congratulations! Tandy, I agree completely. Also, it's good to see you. It is. Working on a Star Wars D&D campaign in what, uh... What system? Same thing with Bioshock 3 opened up to a new audience, so playing it chronologically is best, but not necessary. Well, what is chronological for Bioshock? Because Bioshock 1 is happening during parts of Bioshock Infinite. No, it's not. It is. Well, that's something we should talk about off-stream. Well, yeah. Because that's, that's very close stuff. to spoiler I mean, stuff. The stuff overlaps also other stuff, also other stuff, also other stuff. Yeah. Also other stuff. But Bioshock Infinite takes place... 40 years before 3. Like, actual, like, we're talking, like, real time. Okay. Like, it takes place in 19, like, 17 or something. And, uh, Bioshock 1 takes place in, like, 56. Or was you should get a refund if you bought Star Wars movie 1, 2, 3. There you go. We can't say spoilers because there are people who probably, like, don't want to know it. Yeah. So we gotta uh, stay away from it. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's alright. I'd rather not spoil it for someone so that they can enjoy it than... I'm like a hardcore spoiler Nazi. Nazi. You are. Yeah, you know, all of these mushroom dudes. Do I still need to get the season pass for uh, Bioshock Infinite? Yeah, I don't have a uh, second half of the actual DLC. Because the first DLC is totally missable. Yeah, it's the second one that really matters, and that's why I kind of really want the season pass. Also, I kind of want the... No, I mean, the, the first one, the first, uh, the... You're not even counting that one. It's, it's the, uh, the combat one. I want the combat one. Why? Because I kind of like the combat in it. Alright, I guess, teach their own. You were telling me how much you enjoyed the combat in Fantasy Star today. Uh, yeah. As like a, it's just a part of who I am. I know that it's not like good now. It hasn't aged. Well you don't have to defend it. I'm fine with it. Like, I mean, it's just like when I play Bioshock, it's not for like the combat at all. Uh, the combat in Infinite was was markedly better than. Yeah, 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 but that's still not why I'm playing it. Well, no, you play it because you want to know the story, but the combat so, was like, really well done. I don't, I don't care to just do the combat. Like the combat was was fine, but it wasn't good enough for me to like want more of it. I was never like, oh shit, yeah. Like, I want hey, Matt Mo, looking good. I really want to pick up the Resident Evil remake on GameCube again. Yeah, that's one that I should probably grab. Play that. Well, that'd be a good one for a summer playthrough. Think so? Yeah. I mean, it might make you interested more in actually playing the games, which I'd be down for. What does it control? It still controls the same. It's still... Like 4, or...? No, it still controls the same as the other ones. Oh, it's still boy. fixed camera angles and still tank controls. Oh, boy. You, you realize, like, the more you complain about them, the more you're just not going to get used to them, but if you actually just do it, it's super easy to control and it makes sense. Like... It makes sense if you think about it. No, it makes sense if you sit there and realize the mechanics of the game and how it's set up. Like, you can't do it any other way. 
You could do it. Uh, not camera relative, camera because relative. then if you sit there and you try to walk off screen to another screen, you'll push a button and walk off of the screen, and it gets really frustrating. If you have tank controls, you press forward, you're always going forward. That means when the camera switches, you're still going the same way. It's oh. lesser of two evils. Like, you can't say, no, it's oh, it's frustrating, no. but it's not frustrating. they're both frustrating. No. It's frustrating to walk onto a screen when you're getting away from Nemesis and then end up having to walk back. It's my trump card team. I think at one point you could actually change it to being a uh, camera relative, and it's not good. Oh. Gotta run. Alright, Gimmick Boy, it was good seeing you. Take it easy. Have a good rest of your day. Going for, I'm gonna turn these guys into like, spy guys. No, I should probably turn them into uh, be farm dudes. Yeah. I don't know what I need more of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. A zit on your eyelid? That's no good at all. Shoot. The guy was talking some nonsense. Yeah, I'm actually curious about that contest that you won. Like, what, what was the, what was the stuff? Uh, what was, what was the prompt? What was the, the picture? What, what did you do? I'm gonna turn these guys into farmers. I uh, probably need farmers. I'll just dismiss. How interesting this game is. I like it a lot. It's kind of fun. I mean, it's actually quite fun. It, 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 like I said, it's like Pikmin, but with a better driving force. Also, you get money. And confetti gets to be thrown around. It's true. Yes, sir. Yeah, PC gaming's the best. Powering the quality of life was a power plant? Ooh. Turn into the teacher? Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, pretty much Vanguard. Bidding weather pick up darkness to Green Man Gaming for five six oh. I'd say wait for the summer sale, it'll probably be cheaper. And if not, it'll be that cheap. Green Man Gaming is fantastic. I'm really glad that I can finally buy stuff from them. Yeah, because you had issues with your card before. With my whole bank. <clears throat> really? Because they're like, why are you trying to buy stuff in the UK? You can't do that. Stop it. Cut it out. Because they're in the UK. Or UK thing. Yeah. It'd be great to see you playing a game where the other one has a gameplay in the way of the ghost. Um. Yeah, we we sometimes we do some co-op stuff. Yeah, we we try to do that because it's really nice having someone else to sit here to actually do stuff with. Hello. But there's a lot of games where we can't like. Like, if we could do that all the time, like, if there was co-op that was like Beyond Two Souls all the time, I'd be perfect. But it's kind of a weird situation where that doesn't happen too much. Donkey Kong would work really well in that one person plays, and then unless they switch the character, like, the other person has to play. But yeah, we, we want to do more co-op stuff, definitely. All Stars Racing Transformed is fantastic. Also, it's probably something that's going to hold me over until Mario Kart comes yeah, out. Yeah, it's really good. Which is weird, because I had no interest in it, and then I played it, and I'm like, yup. Yes. Yeah, Bad dudes. Alright, we're going to go mess up that, that other boss guy. This game is really pleasant. It's pleasant up until you make kids build a bridge and then dudes get eaten by a frog monster. Mm -hmm. When you here want to play Monaco, nearly finished the game and really need some cats to play with. I feel kind of bad that I fell off of Monaco, but I really like it. Yeah, I like Monaco a lot too. I haven't beaten it though. Well, they did a thing where they, they redid a lot of the <coughs> campaign elements. So that it would it worked a little better. Pick up Mercenary Kings, Metal Slug X, and Scott Pilgrim. Into that, those are all fantastic games. We should play Scott. Pilgrim. We should just do beat 'em ups one day. Did we do that like a while ago? Oh, we're going to, and we didn't. There we go. 
A nuclear throne's fantastic. I still need to get my hands on it. It's good, but it's not my favorite, uh... Game. No, because Luftrous is... Luftrous is good. Uh, I think I also prefer, uh... Um, alright, here we go. Get up here, dudes. Hey, Shafik, how you doing? Shafik's in here, cool. Eh. Uh, cause... Man. It's a man. Alright, dudes, let's murder up on these fools. Oh, so, like, you leveled up your guys or something? So now I on. have, uh... I also have archers. Oh, nice. A oh, double dragon neon is great. Damn, I lost the dude. Why'd Caleb die again? Because I brought Caleb back with me. Oh. So, uh, the next day they come back. Thomas was alone is your favorite game? Snap. I'm hearing a lot of people talk about it. I haven't played it yet. Got him. It's one already. Sh yeah, time's flying. She described you in a Twitch message, kind of being swallowed in the message of the chat. Go for it, or you can send up a picture if you have one. Well, yeah, he had to turn it in. Ah. Yeah, ap Appley 90 I'm right there with you. I, I didn't like Double Dragon Neon. Phil really likes it, though. I, I enjoy it, yeah. I like it a lot better than uh, the other Double Dragons. Like Really? Yeah. Huh. Have you played the original Double Dragons, like, recently? A couple years back, but... They're rough. Hmm. Like, they're still Double Dragon, so I can't be too upset at them. But I actually feel like I'm doing something when I play Neon. Also, I really like oh, the fighting in my it. house. We're on a house party. King Keister! The world, the whole world. <laughs> Are the con 360 controllers or not? Uh, we actually still use 360 controllers because I have a dongle. Yeah. Also, I got an excuse to say dongle again. I have a wired one, although I've been thinking about using the PS4 one for it. Oh no. <laughs> Mail! Yo. In other words. Here's a letter. I got a letter. I better read it in front of all these people. Challenge. Supposedly there's an update coming to make the Xbox One thing work for it. <gasps> the Alajurkos say that you suck and you're a world-class jerk. Shoot, that's mean. From the Oni King. Well, we um, beat up their Onis before, so... El Poco. El Poco, El Poco, El Jerko. King? We gotta go beat him up. Dongle's a great word. Video mess him up. Oh god. The best T pad you've ever used? It's probably just because of like the eight or nine years that I've had to use the 360 controller, but I'm actually used to the D-pad on it. Man, I've used mine a lot. What's a dongle? Still, but... Later, Eric. I can't. I can't like. I can. I can show it to you here. I can. I'm gonna take this down really quick. Oh God! Look out! So this this is the dongle that we use. They they stop making them, I think, and then and they, they started, started making, making them again. again. But like, oh, you just sync up good. Xbox controllers to it, and it's kind of crazy. The farming district, though. I actually placed that like where it needs to be. Dang. I did, Bad. wow. It's a club. I like that. Oh, hold on. It's not where it needs to be. There we go. There we go. Let's call you Eric, but, but the S! Party's over. But you gotta get going. See you, Eric. <clears throat> Who's gonna hang it out? Gold paint job of the GTA 5 run million. There you go.
We got Payday 2 guns in gold now. Do we? Yeah. Oh. I haven't booted up Payday in a long time. We should probably play that at some point. Hi. Bought a wired 360 controller when you built your PC? It's a pretty good way to do it. Back 40. Back and forth between laundry. Do that laundry. Everyone will forever remember this as the day that Phil flashed the dongle. Let everyone have a good look at my dongle. Hey, fairy. How you doing? Yeah, the PS4 uh, controller is fantastic. I don't know how you have paintings. You have the best one. You don't, you don't need anything else. You've got the cow painting. Yeah, there have been a lot of painting 2 updates. Yeah. Okay. Also, yeah, the PS4, Xbox One Rockstar game that's coming out, I'm kind of excited. It could be a GTA 5 port, it could be something completely new. There's a very distinct possibility that's going to be... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of king sleeps on a straw bed. Or one. A kid. Kid one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just really waiting for the PC version of GTA 5. Raise your dongles. <laughs> Alright. Looks like a pretty good adventuring party. Don't you think? Yeah, that was pretty good. I wish there was a way to, to get rid of just one person. Uh-oh. I, I have GTA 5 on both the PS3 and the 360. You do. This is a thing. But no, the PC port better happen. Like, Look at this guy. To not port GTA 5 to the PC would be foolish. Well, they also didn't do that with a lot of their other stuff, though. And supposedly there's gonna be like a Red Dead remake or something, or a Red Dead something coming up. So that's a thing. Yeah, I don't think it'd be a new game either. Praise the sun. Skinny My Ray! Skinny Ray, he's like, uh, flipping Sugar Ray. Okay. If they bring back the agent, that'd be kind of interesting too. So there are apparently 14 units in the game. Don't really want to play online over again. That's what I thought, and then I leveled up my guy and I basically have the same dude with the same car, with the same house, with the same guns on the PS3 that I do on the Xbox. Man, this place is a dump. We gotta spend some money in here. Used to play the crap out of GTA 4 multiplayer. I think GTA 5 you're up your alley. GTA 5's multiplayer is so good. They, they basically took all the stuff that people would put in the mods and put it into the actual game and made it something that's totally worthwhile playing. It's fantastic. I love Red Dead 2, wise one. I'm all about Red Dead. They still need to put out the flippin' heists for multiplayer in GTA 5. Who still remembers that? <laughs> You're sick, Phil! I just really like it. Also, I got to play with, with a whole bunch of friends again. Uh, new friends who didn't have it on the, the Xbox, so that was kind of nice. But, I enjoyed it. I wonder the, the troll hole, dudes. I should, should be as good for Alright, I look forward to looking at it. Pencil not colored? Okay. Rockstar's making Shenmue 3. Oh boy. Looking for some sailors. Yeah, I was gonna say, there are like five weeks of spring left, and they said that they'd be coming in spring. I'm kinda... yeah. Maybe there's more troll holes here. My other dudes. Paul Juarez, gunslinger style persist. Yeah, I hope that that's I like a thing. Paul Juarez. Oh, you like gunslinger? Yeah, I like gunslinger. I definitely don't like. The Paul third Juarez. one was bad. Two was good. One was. That was okay. Odd. Not good. It was okay. Two was good. What was two? Was that uh, Ben and Blood? It was the one where you had the two brothers and yeah, one ben and Blood. threw knives it's, it's and was okay. focused on self gameplay, and the other one was focused on running around shooting stuff. It was great. 
Yeah. I don't know. I'm looking for some dealers, yo. We're gonna mess that guy up. Uh, Pretty fun on the show for the story. There's no yeah, that's fair. The cartel was just bad. Oh god. Like not even and that it was just racist. it was bad, it was super offensive, yeah. Beat up those bushes. Can get into Red Dead Redemption PS3. Going real fast. See that? So that's, that's what Spencer kind of felt like. He, he didn't really enjoy it because it was just a whole bunch of nothing. I didn't like it in pretty much any way. Alright, we're gonna go mess this up. What? I wish you played as an animal with lots of roadblocks. That's true too. I was gonna say, the first one was the one where you could recite, like, lines from the Bible while shooting dudes. Like... In which one? The first Call of Juarez. Like, you literally dual wield like, the Bible and a, and a revolver. Okay, I never got that. It, I only played the demo. Because I remember you start off in the church, and the townspeople want to get at you or something like that, and you have, like, the Bible. They're trying to get at you? Yeah. I didn't play Red Dead Redemption on the PS3, so I don't know if that was bad or anything. I played it on the 360 a lot. A lot, a lot. Dragon's Dogma was so good! So good. That was a James Recommends game. Good, because it's really good. You know what else it is? It's a Phil Recommends game. Fancy. I need to play Dark Arisen, though. You know, being holy while making people holy. <laughs> it's good. I like it. I like jokes. Dig in that boy hole. Uh oh. Yo, dudes, get back here. Just on a lot of PS3. I don't have that many PS3 games. Like a lot of them are just kind of exclusives. Because whenever a multi-platform game would come out, I'd get it on the Xbox, because that's where more people were at. Yeah. I'm all about Dragon's Zogma. I actually, like, I'll say it, I like Dragon's Zogma more than I like Skyrim. Like, it's Monster Hunter, but just better. Than so Monster good. Hunter? Yeah, it's, no, it's Monster Hunter. Like, Dragon's Dogma yeah. is Monster Hunter. I mean, it was like originally a tech demo for the Monster Hunters. For Monster Hunter 4, yeah. Yeah. It was made by half the same team. Yeah. I love it. That's not saying I don't like Skyrim, though. Skyrim's pretty great. Got a horn. He's really reeling things. it in. Yeah. One of those holes that keep on throwing out bad dudes. Sweet. You could say that either way, though, Nib. Like, the only good thing about Skyrim are the mods, and the only bad thing about Skyrim are the mods. I don't know, I like walking around in Skyrim and, like, exploring stuff. That's what I like doing in games, I like exploring. So that's the great thing about flipping Dragon's Dogma, is, like, you find stuff and you think you're the only person ever find it. Like, that's something that I really love about it. That, like, when I played Warcraft, that was something I loved doing. Because you'll find stuff and you'll be like, oh. I'm the only person who's ever seen this in history of ever, but you know that's not true because there's so many people playing. Yeah. Um, but when they do exploration like that, that's really good. It's like uh, Shadow of the Clocks and a lot of stuff like that. Oh uh, yeah, Dragon's Dogma is only on the console, unfortunately. Yeah. Hey, Philly Scorpio, how you doing? What's up, Philly Scorpio? <laughs> Oh boy, what could be in this troll hole? Yeah, I couldn't really get into the stories in Skyrim either. Like, oh, the dragons and all that. The best sto- oh, oh, wait a sec. The best story in all of the Elder Scrolls, I think, was still the, uh, the Shivering Isles expansion for Oblivion. I think I really like that one. Because it's really good, it's interesting. The characters are actually, like, memorable. Too bad, because I haven't played that one. That was part of my, my weekend where I 100%ed that. I got all the DLC, it was horrible. I wish Dragon's Dogma was on Steam. I'd love it. 